Say hello, everyone. Say hello, okay. everyone. Hello. Uh, I've never freed out before. And you got to 18 meters. Yeah, good teacher. Kill it! <laughs> That's amazing. I waited for this day to come. I knew that you would be the one. I wasn't without my own. And you were without your lonely. Previously on SLV, we toured the Abaco Islands here in the Bahamas for a couple of weeks. Some of these anchorages have been placed in our top five best anchorages we've ever been around the world. Just gorgeous. We headed back to our kind of home base we'd made here on the main island of Nassau to meet up with a group of our patrons who'd come from all over to sail with us. We were really looking forward to the week ahead. So I was asleep up until we came through the channel, Riley woke me up and said, gotta drive the boat. So we quickly got some diesel, I didn't film anything, I was just barely alive. And uh, we are now docked in the Palm Key Marina. And um, we're supposed to meet all of our patrons tomorrow, but we've already had one stop by the boat, Craig, and he's dropped off some gifts from Australia. So we're just opening them now. Thank you so much, Craig. What have I'm you got, Ross? I'm looking you want a Tim Tam. Tim Tam and a little koala and a kangaroo. These are awesome. I know, how cute are they? So it's from Craig and the crew from Scarlet. We've also got some Vegemite. Can never have too much Vegemite. Oh my gosh, this looks like something I'm going to like. Oh my gosh, yes! Face masks! Oh, I love oh you, God. Craig! <laughs> this is so great. Yeah, that's amazing. Aussie sea clay and green tea face mask. You know me too well already, Craig. My face is feeling... It's peppermint. I have peppermint all over my face now. It's so good. I should get the tea bags out. <laughs> well... By accident, I've just stumbled upon something so great. Peppermint tea on your eyes, you guys. It's really refreshing. Is it burning? A little bit. You want a face mask? No. You want to go to bed? I think it's time for bed. It's time for bed. Good night, you guys. See ya on the manya. Everyone's arrived. We've got like nine and then I think 11 people. I think someone brought someone extra, which is fine. We're on the south side of Nassau. We're gonna leave the marina and head up to Rose Island, which is north east of here. Alona, you're not feeling 100% today, are you? No, I feel very pregnant, very large and <laughs> lethargic. Which doesn't happen often, but that's fine. I mean, we've got a crew to help out today, so that would be good. There's a few sailors in amongst the people, there's a few people that have got no experience at all sailing. So we'll all have a go hoisting the main, like tacking and doing all that sort of stuff. And then we might do some free diving later. There's a dude called Matt who's a mad keen spear fisherman. So him and I are going to go and try and get some uh, lunch or dinner for everyone. And uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be the day, I think. Uh, the only thing is, is because of the numerous coral heads that we're surrounded by. Every chart that I've ever read in a place like this, it just always says numerous coral heads. It's like, we can't, we couldn't be bothered charting them. Just numerous. <laughs> we really need to travel when the sun's like this, so we've got to get there and then get back again. Um, I w I'd like to be back here by sort of four, five, something like that. And generally speaking, people don't like being on being on the water for an entire day. Mm. Everyone gets sunburned, exhausted, dehydrated. <laughs> but I don't think it'll be, it's not gonna be rough. No, this should be a really easy sail today. I'm looking at the leaves on the trees over here and they're just, there's, it's, not, it's not very windy at all. No. And just pull, make sure it's all inboard. All right. Nicely done, Craig. My name is Emily and I'm from Denmark. And any plans to sail for the future? Yeah, next year I might take a trip, be someone's crew for a couple of months. That's the plan. And I hope so. I'm David and I'm from uh, Atlanta in the US. And how long have you been a patron for? Uh, actually, pretty recently. So I'd say two months or so. So I got pretty lucky pretty early on. Yeah, nice work. Stole <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. So 
Red Zero is up, dodging coral heads left, right and centre. And we have some very clear water. We're all pretty pumped to, to get in there. I know Matt is. How pumped are you? Way pumped. <laughs> Matt Dixon, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I mean, I like spending a lot of time under the water. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna go find a hogfish today. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's what Riley said. Hogfish. He said yeah. they're he said they're very smart and elusive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarthak. I'm from uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm reading On the Road. That's a good book. Yeah. Riley told me about it. Really? So it's a good one. <laughs> I'm Brittany, and this is Billy from Florida. And you guys are planning on hopefully maybe getting a boat in the future, in the near yes. future. Hopefully soon. Sooner than later. Chaz Cooper, I'm from San Diego. And how did you stumble across our show? Well, my father, Patreon to the show, shared the show with us and we've all been enjoying it for the past few months. I'm Scott Cooper from San Diego. And what made you become a patron? I've just been curious about sailing, the world, the oceans, and you guys have a really unique way of doing it and sharing it with everyone. And I just think it's amazing. I'm Steve Cooper. I'm also from San Diego. I'm Craig. I'm from Brisbane in Australia. And how long have you been sailing for? Oh, uh, I haven't yet because I haven't died. So <laughs> I started when I was eight. Amazing. All right. <laughs> yep, just go for it. Team to the beach. It's been washed away. Do you think it was washed away like in a hurricane or something? Maybe. Yeah, look at it. There's the roof there. What's down there? A water tank or a storage oh, tank? Yeah. Whilst Elena explored the island, Matt and I went spearfishing to try and find some dinner for us and the crew. waiting for the boys to return and the question is did they get anything <laughs> wow there's way too many people on that dinghy <laughs> look how like look how... You, yeah. struggling <laughs> not seeing a lot of bragging no, yeah. <laughs> harpoon. Yeah. success i mean riley shot all the fish before we could get to them really <laughs> just hey. little tie these brush up mm. all right Chaz was really keen to give freediving a go, so we took him out into some deeper water to show him the ropes. I could walk a trander, I could stumble upon you. Me, the fortune of life, I may never be here.
like two walls dancing together. Put in some Jamaican jerk seasoning here. Oh, yeah, good idea. I'm so excited. Yeah. And the boys are just waving down these fishermen out here uh, in hope to get some lobster, I think. No lobster? You do? Can we buy some off you? Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. What have we got, Ralph? Crust the scenes. How was your day, Captain? Uh, we did a lot. I'm, I'm a little bit exhausted. I think I have seen a little bit too much sun. Uh, but we, just, we did so much. We didn't catch any lobster, we had to buy some. <laughs> you got some groper. Got some groper, yeah. Most notable thing of the day was Scott's boy Chaz got down to, I would say, at least 18 metres. That's incredible. So before today, what was your personal best freediving? Uh, I've never freedove before. What? <laughs> and you got to 18 metres? Yeah. Dude! Good, good teacher. Kill it! <laughs> That's amazing! Uh, all I've done is uh, CO2 and O2 tables. Oh yeah, well that would have yeah. really helped, mm -hmm. obviously. Jeez. It's a weapon. It is a weapon. Yeah. Look out. It is a weapon. 20 tomorrow. Oh, hands down. <laughs> Try and stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Just cooking some sausages and some vegetarian burgers and we have a full boat right now cooking for 11 people it's proving to be quite the mission but I'm nearly done I thought that a traditional Australian sausage sizzle would be the way to go on the cruise first night so I hope they enjoy it so just uh, out of curiosity uh, how did you hear about your invite to La Vagabond and where were you? What were you doing? We were at work at the shop and I just, my jaw dropped when I read the email, you know, saying I was invited and I, I paused for a minute, I went and told him and he goes, it's fake. They're asking. <laughs> <laughs> An evil thing if someone was to be sending out fake emails oh, no. <laughs> to patrons of ours. <laughs> I just, I watched the whole video and, and, and Emil Thompson and I was like, Emil? Really? Emil mm. Thompson? And I just panicked. <laughs> so I started jumping up and down and mom was like, what's going on? They like, called my name! And I just started crying. So I always look forward to watching the show and I'm exhausted and I'm like, hey, I finally get to sit down and watch Selling the Bag Mom. So we're half asleep, Chaz was with me, and we're sitting on the couch watching it and just going and I'm nodding off. All of a sudden I hear Charles Cooper and I look up and it's like, what? I rewind it and I play it again and I'm, Jazz, am I, am I hearing this right? <laughs> Thank you so much for the invite and it's, yeah, yeah we really appreciate it. Your God, videos are it. inspiring. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks you guys, I hope you liked that one. Next time we explore a little more and wrap it up with our crew here in Nassau before an emotional goodbye as I say goodbye to Riles and jump on a flight back to Australia. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go, <laughs> I gotta go.